Hi, I'm James and today I am working on this which is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 ARE 05 laptop. Uh, this is actually a brand new machine, we've just powered it on to test that it works um, and because this is a Ryzen 3 4300U based machine uh, with 4 gigs of RAM we got it on an absolute bargain price for a customer uh, and uh, so it's 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gig SSD and basically it's much cheaper to buy this configuration of machine and upgrade it uh, than it is to buy a machine with a larger SSD uh, and a fat because they all have a much faster processor than the customer requires. So we are fitting this today with a additional 4 gigabytes of memory and a 500 gig NVMe SSD to meet their requirements. Now I know from the research that I've done uh, as I just I'm just taking the screws out of the base so we have four at the front which are shorter and then six further back which are longer and as I take them out I'm just going to place them roughly in the order they came back in out so I can put them back in in the same places uh, so I know from having looked at it before on this machine, done some research, that it has 4 gigs of RAM which is soldered to the main board and we're expecting to find a DIMM slot inside for the additional 4 gigabytes. So with that done and all the screws removed, I'm now going to take my plastic pry tool and just press it in along this edge just to try... Let's start the front yeah there we go just to try and start releasing the base So with the front done, we're then going to work along this side. Always good, just use a plastic pry tool, uh, obviously nothing metal, as that will damage the plastic. And always just work on the assumption if you're opening up the machine, you know, you're you, you probably won't have warranty issues so long as you're careful and if you were to warranty return it, return it to the original specification. Um, but you always have to work on the assumption that you're invalidating the warranty, I, I believe. I certainly wouldn't tell anyone otherwise. So with that done, we should now be able to lift along the back here and pop the base off. So once inside the machine, the first thing that we want to do is to disconnect the battery. The battery connects here onto the main board and we just want to there is a little clip on here so just using the flat point of the pry tool we can ease that out of the connector. Not the easiest one to do, but there we go. So that has disconnected the battery, so we know the laptop isn't powered. Now the SSD, we have a little uh, just conduct thermally conductive pad there, and underneath it we have the uh, M2 2242 drive, which is a shorter M2 drive. And to remove that, we are just going to unscrew the retention screw and slot the drive out. Now, the drive that we are going to fit in its place is a longer M2 2280 drive, so an 80mm length drive. So to do that, we need to take our 5mm hexagonal driver. I should know the name of that, but I can't remember. And um, we have a little spacer here, so we have these two positions that this spacer can be screwed into. 
So we remove that from the 2242 point and position it into the 2280 point. So just begin that by hand and then screw it down. You could probably do this by finger, uh, you know, with just finger tight um, or using a screw into it. But since I have the right tool, it makes sense to use that. We can now slot in our SSD, go back to our 2mm Philips bit, push the drive down and refit the screw. With that done, our next task is to upgrade the memory. We see we have 4GB soldered to the main board on this model here and then we have the dim slot underneath this little metal cover. So to release this cover we just press lightly in with the pry tool on each of these little clasps. These are just basically pressing bits of metal against each other to hold it on, they're not, it's not like you have to press them all simultaneously or anything. But with that done we release that, lift it up we are then going to take our 4 gigabyte DDR4 2666 MHz memory and slot that in, press down so that it clips in place. With that done, we can then refit the cover, making sure it sits between all the clasps. Um, with the SSD, it should be worth noting, in this case, I am going to clean install Windows onto it. Um, if you were wanting to clone from the original drive onto uh, the new SSD, uh, you would need either to have a USB device um, which you can fit an SSD like this into, which I will try and remember to put a link into the description below uh, on Amazon Affiliates, and you'll be able to find all the other parts I've fitted here as well and tools I've used. Um, so. You could either clone directly using something like True Image or take an image of the the device and then image it onto the new one. Of take an image from the original and image it onto the new one. So with that done, I'm then just going to refit this thermal pad onto the SSD. It's not going to cover the full length. Shouldn't be a major issue though. The last thing to do then before refitting the back is to sorry, I'm kind of blocking the view there. Just get the battery connector into place and gently push the edges to connect it back up. And then finally, all that's left to do is take the base of the laptop, line it up, and then press it down. to re-engage all the little plastic clips and then finally reinsert the screws. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then do let me know in the comments and give this video a like. It really does help uh, because basically I buy these laptops largely just to do these videos to help people. Uh, and you know you're watching with advertising and liking and everything else all really just helps fund these videos um, if you have any questions or comments then of course leave them below as well and if you want to see more videos or continue to support the channel then hit the subscribe button and you will see everything I post in the future thanks for watching